Welcome to the Design Gold channel. Today we are introducing the use of squish and squish back features. First, select the surface. Then left click on squish. Command line, default settings, right click to execute. The surface will now be flattened on a flat surface. Move to the position shown in the video. Next, select the objects and use the squish back function to bring them back to the surface in three dimensions. We right click on this function. Then click on the expanded surface. Then we click on the target surface. This completes our squish back. On top of that, squish back also supports preserve structure rigid objects and has a history. For example, if we make a sphere on a flat surface. Let's use squish back again. The command line option is to turn on rigid equals yes. The sphere is a hard effect. Moving the sphere will also have a history effect. Just like in the video. It's very simple. It also supports poly surfaces. First we make a poly surface. Just like this. Then we squish back this object onto the surface. It's very convenient and easy. You can use the history to adjust the position. The stone needs to be removed from the block to support the history. Just like in our video. Select the stone and use the squish back function. Turn on rigid. This way the stone will have a history. It's very convenient. Finally, convert the grid stone to a block stone. This way the stone can be restored to its properties and other functions can be performed. Similarly, this function can be applied to the bottom of the mesh. In the same way. Close the rigid. Finally, right click to confirm. And you're done. It's very easy. And finally, I'll look at this type of thing. Again, very easy. Squish function supports mesh unfolding and squish back supports mesh rollback. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like our features, remember to subscribe us. We will update more powerful functions in the future.